welcome to pictograms just before we start a reminder that there is a notes jotter available for this video just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video okay so we're going to begin with the information that in a survey people were asked to choose their favorite type of pizza and the pictogram shows some of the results now first of all i just want to describe what a pictogram actually is um, a pictogram is a uh, is a diagram where we use um, pictures um, of certain items in order to display how many people um, have selected a certain item or how many items have been included and so on and so in this case uh, we've been uh, talking about pizza and so we've used images of pizzas um, and so we are told that eight people chose margarita well if we have a look at our diagram eight people is actually two full pizzas and that is two full pieces cut into four pieces well, how many pieces is that? Well, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so those eight pieces must be the eight people, which means that in our key, which is what we're asked for here, completing the key, um, that means that each of these individual slices of pizza must be one person. And so every full pizza must be four people. And so then we're asked how many people chose pepperoni. Well, we can do this just by looking at how many slices we've got. We can take it in whole groups. So there's four and another four and another four. But then when we get to the very end, this is only half of a pizza. Now a full pizza was four people. And so this piece is two people. So four plus four plus four is 12 plus another two. Well, that must mean 14 people chose pepperoni we are then told that five people chose veggie complete the diagram so what we need to do is now think what five people would look like in the same sort of diagram well straight away we know that a circle with a cross in the middle making four slices that's four people so then how would i get the extra one person well, one person is only going to be one small piece of this diagram. And so I'm just going to draw a little quarter pizza to show that I've got my fifth person. In our next one, the pictogram shows how some passengers spent most of their time on a flight. Um, so we've been given a key this time. We've got little boxes split again into four pieces. But that represents 40 people. So what we can take from that straight away is that if the whole diagram is 40 people, well, what does each of the little squares mean? Well, 40 into four pieces would be 10, 10, 10, and 10. So each of the little squares is worth 10 people. So it asks how many passengers spent most of their time playing games. Well, this is the section for playing games. We've got two full pieces, so that is 40. And that is 40 but then we've only got a half piece and a half piece would therefore be 20 and so if I add all of those together 40 plus 40 plus 20 that means there were 100 passengers who spent their time playing games we're then asked how many more passengers spent most of their time watching films than reading so if we look at watching films well that is two full diagrams and a small piece and reading is two full diagrams. So the only difference between them is actually one little square. What does one little square mean? Well, one little square was 10 people. So there were 10 people more. So next we're going to look at um, uh, David who sells CDs in a shop. And the uh, tally chart shows information about the number of CDs David sold on Monday, on Tuesday and on Wednesday. So I'll write down one thing that is wrong with the tally chart. Well, the first thing we need to do here is just check what we uh, what we understand about tally charts. Um, in terms of tallies, we take four and then we draw a line through. Now, some people draw them going down, some people draw them going up. But regardless, they always mean five at a time. So four, la four lines going down and then one striking across means five. So in the Monday group, we have five and then another five, and then another three. So five plus five plus three is 13. But it says here that the frequency is 12. So that is certainly something that's wrong. The frequency there should be 13. If we check it for the others, we've got five and five and five and three. Five plus five plus five is 15, plus three is 18. So that's great. And then we've got five followed by three, 
Well, five and three is eight, so that bit's fine. So the only thing wrong with it, actually, is the frequency uh, for Monday. We then have that David drew a pictogram to show the information for Tuesday and Wednesday. Um, and he has said in his key that a circle split into two pieces represents three CDs. And so, um, write down one thing that is wrong with this pictogram. Well, if we look at Tuesday, this is meant to show 18 people or 18 CDs. Well, if that is the case, that would be three and three and three and three and three. Well, if I count that up, three, six, nine, 12, 15. That is only showing 15 at the moment. So that is a problem. There is actually another problem though with what he's done because what he said is that a full circle is three. So there is three, there is three. What happens on Wednesday? Well, he's got half of a piece. Now half would mean 1.5 CDs. Now there is no way that he has sold half a CD that day. And therefore there is a second issue with his diagram. First one, he hasn't actually put enough circles in Tuesday. And in the second one, he's actually got half a CD or one and a half CDs as part of his diagram. And so we're going to end with the exam question. This came from the Edexcel paper in November 2018 and it was foundation paper one. Um, it says there are only apple trees, cherry trees, pear trees and plum trees in an orchard. The pictogram shows information about the number of apple trees, cherry trees and pear trees in the orchard. And it tells us in our key that a large square represents four trees. It says there is a total of 30 trees in the orchard. Complete the pictogram. So how are we going to go about doing this? Well, the first thing here, because we don't know how many plum, uh, plum trees there actually are, we need to work that out. But in order to do that, we need to know how many of each other type of tree there is. And so for apple, we know there are four, four, four. And so four, four and four means 12 apple trees. For cherry, we know there is four. And then we've only got quarter of a, a square here. So that must be one extra. So four and one is five. For the pear tree, well, we know there are four. And then we've got half a diagram. Well, that must mean two. And so that's six in total. If I add 12 plus five plus six, well, I get... Um, 2 plus 5 is 7, plus 6 is 13, plus the 1 is 23. So how many are left over? Well, 30 take away 23 equals 7. So that's how many plum trees there must be. So first of all, let's draw a big square. That is going to be 4. And then I need to make 3 in order to finish it off. Now, if I'm going to do that, I need 3 quarters of my diagram. And so as long as I make it clear that that is meant to be three parts out of four, I've done my job. I've got the extra seven.